Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to FX02. Uh, so in today's lesson, I'm going to teach you uh, how to make the leaf sim simulation. Okay, so let's get started. So first thing, I just got this uh, texture from the internet. So I got an alpha uh, PNG and also uh, a base color for the leaf okay <coughs> so what I do here is using a trace node uh, and the trace node is pointing to our alpha PNG so what the trace node do is uh, he will find the black and white uh, the intersection part will and they will create a point uh, and lines here. So if you see the viewport here, you can see there are a lot of point here and uh, you need to have a black and white <coughs> uh, image so it can create a geometry for you. And then I just uh, resample this so now it it has a uh, less point on the leaves and then i remesh so now if i do the simulation it has enough point to capture the details and i just transform 90 degrees so it's lay on the ground and then here i uh, project uv project by the so you can see the uv here uh, now the UV quick shade I am using the the base color which is uh, this one so now I have the leaves with the textures that's the first one and the second one as well <coughs> so that's how you uh, do the leaves okay and uh, then the leaf simulation is pretty much the sa same as the plants which I already covered uh, last week so for the leaves <coughs> uh, I have uh, import here uh, object merge these two leaves and assign them a piece uh, attribute one and two so later when I copy to point I'm gonna use these two uh, these two, uh, the piece attribute to, you know, randomly scatter them uh, on a point. So, and we get the mesh here. The mesh is the one we emit smoke. And we want to copy our leaves here. So, and then this leaf will be driven by the wind. So, we don't need the color here. Uh, we make it smaller and scatter some point uh, and point jitter so you can see before it's all on the uh, plan now it's it has uh, more variety on the X and Z directions <coughs> and attribute from piece which we already talked about last lesson basically it's gonna take a piece attribute here which we create here and then <coughs> when we do the copy to point we also take the piece attribute here okay and now you, you can see different leaves copy to the copy onto the point and the scatter line here also just add attribute to the existing point cloud because we already have the point here so we just want add based on that we got like a random angle which you know we can rotate uh, rotation blend so all kinds of stuff here uh, basically the same as the plant simulation here it's the same setup 
an attribute from piece yeah and uh, the simulation is pretty simple uh, because it doesn't need to have any glue constraints because it doesn't need to uh, glue to anything like the plants it's just leaves so I'm just using a, a default vellum close here change the constraint type to close uh, you can play around with the density stiffness uh, and the band stiffness yeah basically that's it so now uh, you can <coughs> uh, do the simulations so we just get the the wind here and we don't need the density so we just blast it but we have the velocity field here okay which we're gonna use and the volume close they have two outputs one is the geo another one is the constraints and we feed that into the top network so the first input is geo second is constraints third is the velocity field from the wind simulations so into the dot network uh, this part are just uh, colliders and this is uh, volume solver I think I just leave it to the default volume object uh, nothing changed here uh, volume source here the sub pass is the geo which is this uh, the constraint is the second one yeah and the uh, pop add back by volumes is the third context which is this one and uh, and I just uh, reduce the velocity scales and the important thing is here emission type I change it to each frame so because if you check here we only have uh, let's see we only have 200 leaves here so 200 points so if we only emit once then all the leaves uh, follow the wind then yeah there's no more leaves so you will not see leaves in the simulation once once these one pass the cameras because these one go that direction and then there's no more leaves generated there are, will not, not be any leaves in the simulation so we want to uh, generate each frame so there will be constantly new leaves add to the same but each frame is too much there will be a lot of leaves stacked on top each, uh, top of each other because at frame one there will be 200 leaves uh, frame 2 will be uh, 400 Fr frame 3 will be 600 so that's too much so in the uh, activation here uh, I only generate uh, uh, every 30 frames except the first frame so it will ch if the dollar f uh, so the current frame number is equal to 1 which is the first frame it will generate uh, the 200 leaves or dollar uh, uh, f uh, 30 uh, this means every 30 frames uh, it will generate uh, it will be generating the leaves so now every 30 frames it will have new leaves in the simulation yes so let's see so this is the leaf simulation you can see and to the frame 30 you see there are constantly new leaves add to the simulation some leaves are not moving is because uh, because if you see this mesh here uh, which the velocity field here uh, 
the velocity field might not cover this part, so these leaves are not getting affect be, uh, affected by the velocity field, but uh, it's okay. As long as we have continue uh, uh, emitting our uh, leaves, that's good. So yeah, and then I time shift uh, 47 frames and I do some blast. I do the blast because uh, some leaves uh, are not behaving correctly. I just manually selecting them. I uh, think I yeah. I just delete some some leaves that are close to the camera and doesn't look too good. Uh, yeah, this one is if you see this leaves it's uh, hit the ground and then and kind of stuck here because of the collider so I just uh, delete it okay so I find uh, four of them doesn't look too good I just delete them and uh, yeah that's uh, all the simulations so yeah see you next time